Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet sole for babies and children. For all these three soles, I used the same pattern, but this I worked with yarn 170 meters in 15 grams and 2 millimeters hook. This second I worked with yarn 125 meters in 50 grams and 3 millimeters hook. And for last one I used yarn 85 meters in 50 grams and 4 millimeters hook. This sole is for newborn babies. Second is for 6 to 12 month old babies. And last one is for 2 years old children. Pattern for this sole looks like this. We have three sections here. First heel section start from this chain one. Then we are doing extensions. And on this final round five, we get 16 stitches. In this section we do not extensions and here we do 16 stitches on one side and 16 stitches on other side. This is fingers section and it starts from this chain one. Then we again do extensions and in this final round we have 20 stitches. So in this final round 5 we have 68 stitches. If you want to make this sole bigger or smaller you can change number of stitches in this section. In this pattern here is 16 stitches. But if you like to have smaller, you can do 14 or 12. I do not recommend it less than 12 for this pattern. Or if you want to have bigger, then do 18 stitches in this section. But do not more than 18. If you need larger, you can do one more round. I'm going to use these five markers. I have two blue, two green and one red. If you are beginners, I suggest you to use markers like this. And now we are going to do chain 19. Do slip knot. This slip knot is not count as chain. Do chain 19. And I finished making my foundation chain. Now we are going to work first single crochet into 18th chain. So skip one chain, go to this and do first single crochet in this round. Then this first single crochet mark with red marker. Go in same chain space where we have first single crochet and do one more single crochet. In next 16 chains we are going to do single crochet into every single chain. This is first single crochet. And this first we will mark with blue marker. In next chain do second single crochet. In next third. And 
keep going until you have 16. This is 16. And we will mark it with blue marker. Now we have this final chain one space. And here we are going to do four single crochets. One. Two, three, and four. In next sixteen chains, we are going to do single crochet in every single chain. Above this blue marker, we have this space. And here we do first single crochet. Mark this first stitch with green marker. In next stitch do second single crochet. In next third And keep going until you have 16. This is 16. And this single crochet we will again mark with green marker. Here we have this red marker and in this chain where we did first two single crochet in this round, here we do two more single crochets. Now do slip stitch on marketplace. And we finished round one. We are going to do round two. We start row with chain one. We have two free stitches before marker. In this place we do first single crochet. Mark this first single crochet with red marker. Then in same stitch do one more single crochet. In next stitch do two single crochets. Now we came to place where we have this first blue marker. Make here one single crochet. And mark it again. In the next stitch do second single crochet. In next 
third and keep going until you have 16. Our 16 single crochet should be on place where we have next blue marker. We reach the marker now and here we do 16th single crochet. Mark it again Between these two markers, we have four single crochets. And now we are going to do two single crochets in every single crochet. So here we will have eight single crochets. This is first single crochet. And in same stitch, do second single crochet. In next stitch, first single crochet. And in the same stitch, second single crochet. Next stitch, first single crochet. Same stitch, second. In next, we do first. And in same, we do second single crochet. We reach to first green marker now. And here we are going to do first of 16 single crochets. Mark this first again. This is second. Third. And keep going until you have 16. And on marketplace should be our 16th single crochet. Mark this place again. Now we have two free loops before marker. And we have this slip stitch, but here we do nothing. In first stitch, do first single crochet. And in same stitch, second single crochet. Then in next stitch, do first single crochet. And in same stitch, second. This is slip stitch. And now we are going to do slip stitch on market single crochet. We have finished round two. And we are ready to move on round three. Do chain one. Now we have this market stitch and before we have one, two, three and four stitches. Go into this stitch and do first single crochet. Mark it. Go into next stitch and do two single crochets into same stitch first and second. In next stitch, one single crochet, 
Next stitch, do two single crochets into same stitch. One and two. We reach to first blue marker. And here we are going to do first of 16 single crochets. Mark it again. In next stitch, do second. In next third. And continue until you have 16. This is 16th. Mark it again. Between these two markers, we have eight single crochets now. Go into next stitch and here do two single crochets in one stitch. In next stitch, do one single crochet. In next, do two single crochets in one stitch. In next, do one. And in next, again, do one single crochet. Then in next, do two single crochets in one stitch. In next, do one. And in next, do two single crochets in one stitch. Between these markers, we have 12 stitches now. In next 16 stitches, we are going to do single crochets in every stitch. This is first, mark it. Second. And continue with single crochets until next marker. This is 16. Mark it again. In next two stitch, do two single crochets. In next one single crochet. In next again two single crochets. In next one single crochet. And now do slip stitch on market single crochet. We have finished round three. We start round four with chain one. Now we have market place. Then one, two, three, four, five. And this is sixth stitch. 
In this place, we are going to do our first single crochet in this round. Mark it. In next stitch, do one single crochet. In next stitch, two single crochets. In next, one single crochet. In next, one again. And in next, two single crochets. On marketplace, we do one single crochet. And mark it again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. In the next two stitches, we do half double crochets and then we are going to do double crochets. So yarn over, go to next stitch and here we do first half double crochet. We have three loops on hook, yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. Yarn over and do second half double crochet. Yarn over, go to next stitch and do first double crochet. In next stitch, do second double crochet. In next, third double crochet. In next, fourth. Next, fifth. And in next market stitch, do sixth double crochet. Mark it again. We have these 12 single crochets between these markers and here we also going to do double crochets. So yarn over, go to next stitch and do two double crochets in one stitch. One and two. In next, do one double crochet. Then in next, two double crochet in same stitch. In the next, one double crochet. Then in the next four stitches, we are going to do two double crochets in every stitch. So yarn over, go in first stitch and do two double crochets. One and two. In second stitch, do two double crochets again. In third, again two double crochets. And in fourth, again two double crochets. In 
in the next stitch do one double crochet in the next two double crochets then in the next one and in the next two double crochets On mark a stitch, do first of eight double crochets. Mark it. Next stitch, second. Then third. Fourth, fifth, and sixth double crochet. We are finished with double crochets now. In next two stitches, we are going to do half double crochets. This is first half double crochet and second half double crochet in next eight stitches we are going to do single crochets into every stitch one two three four Five, six, seven, and on marketplace, do eight single crochet. Mark it again. Into next stitch, do two single crochets. In the next one single crochet, next one again, into next do two single crochets, in next one single crochet, in the next again one single crochet. This was final single crochet in this round. There we have the slip stitch. Here we do nothing. Now we do slip stitch on market single crochet. We have finished round four. We have 20 crochets in this section now. Here we do not count these market stitches. In the next section, we have 16 crochets, also counting both market stitches. 16 and 16. And in this section, we also have 16 stitches. So all around, we have 68 crochets. And we are going to do round 5. In this round, we do not any extensions anymore. We do just single crochets in every crochet. These markers we do not need anymore. For this sole I used 3mm hook, but for round 5 I am going to use 3.5mm hook. I suggest you to use larger hook for this round as well. Start with chain 1. In first stitch do 
one single crochet, mark it, in the next stitch, second single crochet, in the next third, and keep going to do single crochet in every stitch until you get to marker. And we are going to do our final single crochet for this round. This is slip stitch, we do nothing here. Do slip stitch on market stitch, then chain one, and we have finished so. If you like this video, press like, and please make sure to subscribe on my channel for more crochet videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye!